As the curtain falls on the 2025 Formula One season, the teams have little time to relax. The transition to the radically different 2026 technical regulations is already underway, and the postseason test day at Yas Marina has become a much more significant event than in previous years. For Ferrari, the Abu Dhabi session represents a decisive step. The Scuderia is not only contributing to Pirelli's development program for the future tire range, but is also using the opportunity to test a 2026 ready mechanical solution on the SF25, a concept that could directly migrate to next year's Challenger. This combined program, part tire test, part aerodynamic evaluation, and part mechanical validation, signals Ferrari's determination to arrive in 2026 with a stronger baseline than it had at the start of the 2022 ground effect era. With Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton sharing driving duties, and Ferrari Driver Academy talent Dino Boganovic also involved in the rookie sessions, the day unfolds as one of the Marinello team's most comprehensive end-of-season operations in recent years. So let's take a detailed look at why the 2026 tire tests matter. Pirelli's postseason test has always been the final chance for teams to gather data after the championship ends, but this year's program carries special importance. The switch to the 2026 rule set involves major aerodynamic, mechanical, and power unit changes. Downforce levels will drop sharply, active aerodynamics will be introduced, power units will rely on a 50-50 split between electric and internal combustion power, and the tires themselves are being redesigned from the ground up. To support this transition, Pirelli has spent the entire year developing a new generation of tires that better match the lower downforce cars. The compounds, constructions, and dimensions have all been updated. The front tread width will shrink by 25 mm, while the rear will reduce by 30 mm. Overall diameter also decreases slightly. These new proportions are intended to work in synergy with the new aerodynamic behavior expected from the 2026 chassis. To collect accurate data, Pirelli requires teams to field mule cars, current cars modified to mimic the aerodynamic and mechanical characteristics of the upcoming generation. These experimental machines are not exact replicas of the 2026 cars, but they allow tire engineers to observe how the new compounds behave under reduced load, different slip characteristics and altered temperature distribution. In Ferrari's case, the SF25 mule runs extremely low downforce wings, continuing a program that began earlier this year. The reduced aerodynamic grip helps reproduce the balance expected from the next generation of cars, making the tire feedback more representative. This test day is the final piece of the puzzle before Pirelli officially homologates the 2026 tire range on 15 December. The tires will next appear during the private 2026 car tests in Barcelona from 26 to 30 January and will be present at the 2026 car launches in late winter. Ferrari arrives in Abu Dhabi with a clear multi-tier plan. One SF25 operates as the mule car equipped with the 2026 tire prototypes, with Charles Leclerc driving during the morning session and Lewis Hamilton taking over in the afternoon. The second SF25 runs to 2025 specification for the young driver test, driven exclusively by Dino Beganovic. The core of Ferrari's interest, however, lies in the mechanical experiment hidden at the rear of the mule car. The Italian side's engineers and technicians have chosen this test day to trial an updated suspension concept, one closely linked to the design philosophy being prepared for the 2026 Ferrari. According to information emerging from the Ferrari racing division, the team has reverted to an early-season gearbox casing that allows for a modified version of the original pull-rod suspension layout. Unusually, the revised system uses a single-arm structure, representing a hybrid solution between the initial 2025 design and elements under development for 2026. Ferrari engineers reportedly believe that the early-season mechanical concept still contained untapped potential but fully reverting to it during the 2025 season would have required an investment that exceeded the available budget under the cost cap. The final test of the year therefore became the only feasible moment to revisit the concept without compromising the in-season development plan. This one-day evaluation will help Loic Serra, Ferrari's head of vehicle performance and one of the key figures shaping the 2026 project, determine whether the architecture chosen for next year's car remains the optimal path. The test offers Ferrari an invaluable reference point. If the mule car shows improved stability, traction or aeromechanical synergy with the 2026 tires, then it validates the direction for the upcoming chassis. Ferrari's decision to have both Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton alternate at the wheel of the mule car is a strategic one. 
Their combined feedback gives engineers two complementary perspectives. Charles Leclerc's driving style is typically more rotation-focused, benefiting from a sharp front end, while his teammate tends to extract performance from overall balance, stability under braking and traction consistency. Evaluating the updated rear suspension with these contrasting styles allows Ferrari to detect behavioral nuances that might otherwise go unnoticed. The Monegasque driver runs during the cooler morning hours, completing baseline work on the C2, C3, and C4 tire prototypes. Lewis Hamilton drives in the afternoon, dealing with hotter track temperatures and helping Pirelli understand degradation and thermal behavior under increased stress. Both drivers may also sample the softer C5 compound if requested by Pirelli. In total, teams are allocated one set of C2s, three each of C3s, C4s, and C5s, plus a set of intermediates in case of unexpected rain. The test runs uninterrupted from Oro 9 Sao to 18 Cowan local time, maximizing track time and data collection. While the Mule car focuses on the 2026 project, Ferrari's second SF25 is dedicated to the FIA-mandated young driver test. Dino Baganovich, a longtime member of the Ferrari Driver Academy, will take the wheel. The Swedish driver has already enjoyed multiple FP1 outings during the 2025 season and has tested older Ferrari machinery during the year. For him, the post-season test is not connected to the 2026 development work, but it remains a fundamental step in his progression. Running the standard SF25 on 2025 spec tires allows him to refine his technical communication, high fuel runs, tire management abilities, and consistency over long stints. Ferrari sees this as a crucial part of building a pipeline of future race drivers. Besides the technical running, Pirelli also uses the Abu Dhabi test day to unveil the full visual and structural identity of the 2026 tire range. The sidewall graphics now incorporate a checkered flag pattern, making the Formula One specific tires more distinguishable from both road car products and other motorsport series. The compound color codes remain unchanged, white for hard, yellow for medium, red for soft, ensuring fans can easily follow race strategies. The P0 dry range will continue to feature five compounds, C1 to C5, but the spacing between them is now more consistent. Pirelli intends to ensure clearer strategic variation while maintaining broadly similar performance across race weekends compared to current tires. Notably, the tread pattern for intermediate and full wet tires will remain exactly the same. Pirelli considers the current wet weather platform stable and reliable enough to transfer directly into the 2026 season. Although mule cars cannot perfectly replicate the behavior of the 2026 machines, their role in this transitional phase is invaluable. The lower downforce levels, rebalanced aerodynamics and new Pirelli constructions all interact in complex ways. The tire test is as much about validating Pirelli's development as it is about giving teams like Ferrari clarity on mechanical choices, suspension geometry, aeromechanical coupling and race-relevant behavior. For Ferrari, the key story is not simply mileage, it is direction. After rethinking its design approach midway through the ground effect era and preparing for a clean sheet concept in 2026, every insight becomes vital. The rear end suspension experiment tested in Abu Dhabi could influence how the team approaches mechanical grip, tire load sensitivity, traction zones and aerodynamic integration. If the results confirm the engineer's expectations, Ferrari will enter 2026 with greater confidence in its platform. If the test exposes weaknesses, there is still time to adjust before the new season begins. Either way, the Yas Marina test marks a significant moment. Ferrari has officially begun evaluating 2026 ready mechanical solutions on the SF25, transforming the final outing of the season into the first true step of the next era.